ಓಕ್ರತುಂಡ ಮಹಾಕಾಯ ಸೂರ್ಯಕೋಟಿಸಮಘ್ನ ಕುರು ಮೇ ದೇವ ಸರ್ವಕಾರ್ಯು ಸರ್ವದ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಸ್ತುಭ್ಯ ವರದೆ ಕಾಮಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾರಂಭ ಕರಿಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ಸಿದ್ಧರ್ಭವತು ಮೇ ಸದಾ ಗುರವೇ ಸರ್ವೋಕಿಷೇವರೋಗಿ ನಿಧೇ ಸರ್ವಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೇತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿ ಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಸದಾ ಶಿವ ಸಂಭ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರು ಪರಂಪರ ಶ್ರುತಿಸ್ಮೃತಿಪುರಾಲಯ ಕರುಣಾಲಯ ನಮಿ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದ ಶಂಕರಂ ಲೋಕಶಂಕರ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ದಯಾನಂದ ಪರಮಾಸ್ವಿ ತ್ವಾನ ಪ್ರಶಾಸ್ತರ ಪ್ರಣತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಪರಂ ಪದ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೇತಮಸ್ತಮಾವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವೈವಸ್ವಥಾಯ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ವಿದ್ಯಾಚಾರ್ಯ ನಚಿಕೇತಸೆ ಚ let us read from the, the beginning tula vadharane na eva tula vadharane na eva mula vadharanam mula vadharanam prakshasya kriyate loke prakshasya kriyate loke ವೃಕ್ಷ ಅವಧಾರಣೂಲ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ಅವಧಿಧಾರಗಿಷ ಸನಾತನ ಶುಕ್ರೋಕಾಶ್ರಿ ತಸ್ಮಿನ್ ಲೋಕಾಶ್ರಿ 
तदुनाशन You know this jagat is compared to a ashvatha vriksha. The bashikar bashikara. It gets into <clears throat> imagination, various visualization. The parts of the the ashvatha vriksha, the branches, the roots, the offshoots, the secondary roots, the flowers, leaves, etc. Everything. is comparing to the the jagat the parts of the jagat like the the beings and the sukshma sharira of the beings and the karma of karma and the karma phala etc so he describes he describes adding his poetical imagination but the mantra says Only this much. That is this Ashwatha. This jagat is like a Ashwatha vriksha, and the vriksha as its mola. That is its adhara, adhistana, abho. That is Brahma is abho. It is the karanam, and jagat is the karyam. So this jagat is dependent on the karana. Brahm, jagat means not only this world, all the world, sabta, the fourteen lokas. So therefore, tasmin loka ha, sita ha, ashita ha, dependent. All the lokas are based on that moolam, and the moolam is above. Above means not physically above. It is the adhista. That is what the above is. It is not a directional above. it is not directional abo it is the adhistana it is the adhara it is a base it is a karana so urdhva urdhva is it is mula that is a bashikara urdhva mula urdhva urdhva is karana it is a karana so in, into the karana this Srishta jagat, all the lokas are dependent. There is nothing other than nothing other than Brahma, nothing above other than Brahma. There is nothing that is Brahma doesn't have the cause. Brahma is a cause, the karma of the jagat, and there is no cause for Brahma. So the causeless Brahma is the cause for this jagat. That is the, the meaning of this mantra. And we have read the Vashyam. Uh, I think two paragraphs or maybe the three, third, two paragraph. I think now in second paragraph we are. Just we will read quickly. Urdhva Mula Ha. Urdhva Mula Ha. Urdham Urdham Holam Yet. Urdham Holam Yet. Yet. At Vishnu Ho Param. संसारूल जन्म जरा मरण शोकादी जन्म जरा मरण शोकादी अनेक उदक 
ಮಾಯಾಮರೀಚಿಕ ಗಂಧರ್ವನಗರಾಧಿವತ್ ವೃಕ್ಷವತ್ ಅಭಾವಾತ್ಮಕ ಕದಲೀಸ್ತಂಭವತ್ ಬುಲ್ಪ ಆಸ್ಪದ ತತ್ವಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸು ಬಿಗಿ ಅನಿರ್ಧಾರಿತೂಲ ಸಾರ the moolam urdhvam and it is called vriksha why because it can be felled it can be cut subject to destruction and it is characterized by janna marana shokari aneka anartha all the anartha anartha is problem and pratikshanam anyata subhavah it keeps on changing not the same and it is like maya marichi udak miraj water or gandarva nagara like that drishta nashta surupatva that it seen it gets destroyed so avasane cha at the end also it becomes totally abava disappears and kadali stambhavat like a kadali tantantri it is nissaraha and aneka shatavakand buddhi vikalpa as per the subject to various speculations by the people who have got the various notions the confused people to confuse the minds aneka buddhi so they they try to they try to understand and therefore this samsara viksha subject to various contention by the people whose minds are confused with various philosophies and it is tattva jignasu bhi even by the tattva jignasu tattva jignasu is not here the jignasu doesn't mean the vedantin here that is tattva jignasu bhi who oh, who are committed to knowing the truth for them also it is difficult anirdharitam they cannot clearly ascertain the the samsara vriksha the samjuta the samsara vriksha vedanta nirdharita parabrahma mula saraha ashakara mentions that it is nirdharitam is it is ascertained by vedanta so parabrahma is a mula parabrahma is a root it and it is a yes, saraha essence iti like vedanta it is nirdharitam ascertained pratini avidya kama karma avidya kama karma avyakta bija prabhavah avyakta bija prabhavah so the samsara viksha must have a bija must have the source so what is that source that the bija the seed is in the form of avyakta avyakta is maya 
So avidya maya when we say we say avidya kama karma. As this mark, this avidya, the maya is presented as consisting of these three factors. Avidya, kama, karma. Avidya here it is with avarna shakti, adhyasa. That's called avidya. Atasminta buddhi. This adhyasa, this katrutva bhoktrutva, the buddhi, that is adhyasa. Seeing a thing and taking it as something else. So this Atma, the Chaitanyam, it cannot be Karta, but it is taken to be Karta. Agam Atma, Brahma, is taken to be Anatma. Only Anatma, Atma cannot be Karta. Swarupam of Atma, Atma doesn't have Kartrutva. But with Anatma, Anatma Buddhi as, with Anatma Buddhi, it becomes a, as a Jiva, and Jiva as the Kartrutva, Bhoktrutva, that is called Adhyasa. This Satchit Ananda Swarupa Atma is considered to be a Karta, considered to be a Bhokta. A sense of limitation is brought in by the, is brought in by this Adhyasa. And therefore Kama is the Desir and therefore Karma. Karma is the therefore Karma Pala will be the Papa Punya. That is the Bija, the seed. So, what of karmas of various jivas are the therefore samsara ruksha grows well and well more and more. Iti. Apara Brahma. Apara Brahma. Vigna Kriya Shakti. Vigna Kriya Shakti. Dvayatmaka. Dvayatmaka. Iranya Garbha Ankuraha. Vashakara is compassed that here, that Ankura. Ankura is compared to the Ankura is means sprout. The Briksha, before becoming a Briksha, it must have been a sprout. So when it was the sprout stage, then it is compared, compared to Irande Garba. Irande Garba is from which only this Virat, Virat Brahma, the Virat, the Stula, Srishti has come. Hiranyagarbha is Sukshma, Sukshma Prapancha. It is Aparam Brahma. That Aparam Brahma, that's why Aparam Brahma Shikara uses. Apara Brahma, it is not Shuddha Brahma, it is Apara Brahma. Para Brahma is Brahma, which is Nirgunam Brahma, Parabrahma. The Brahma, when it becomes a Maya, when it is engaged, as though engaged in Srishti, then it becomes Aparabrahma, Iranegarbha, Ishvara Iranegarbha, and Virat. This Aparam Brahma, this that is Iranegarbha, is compared to a sprout and it is endowed with twofold Shakti. What Shakti? Iranegarbha has got Kriya Shakti. And it is Sarvajna, therefore knowledge. Kriya, we say, even if you remember in Mundaka Upanishad also, that prana, prana dimat, Hiranyagarbha is endowed with prana. Sukshma Sharira, when we say, whether it is Sukshma Sharira of the individual or the Sukshma Sharira of the total, as one of the Saptadasha Kalabhi, we have seen Sukshma Sharira definition. It has got prana, pancha prana, pancha prana dayaha. Panchakyana Indriyani, Panchakarma Indriyani, Panchaprana Adhyaha. So Prana is a part of the Sukhma Sharira. So with regard to the total also, Prana is there. Therefore, it is it stands for Shakti, the power. So therefore, Shakti Dvayat Makaha endowed with twofold Shakti. One is Kriya Shakti, other one is Vijnana Shakti, it is knowledge. So the, the Shakti of Jnana and Shakti of Kriya. So from the Abhyakta Maya, that is the Vija, this Iranyagarbha sprout has come. From this Iranyagarbha sprout, this Virat, Riksha, Samsara Riksha comes. Sabashakara so compares at every stage of the Riksha with this Parabrahma, Parabrahma Iti, not Parabrahma, Parabrahma is a Mula. Mulam is 
it is urdhvam then continuing the next line sarva prani linga beda skandha sarva prani linga beda skandha linga is is the sukshma sharira linga shariram when we say linga shariram is sukshma shariram sukshma shariram sarva prani sarve sarvesham praninam but linga shariram beda is many varieties many many be- beings are there many living beings are there therefore they have got individual sukshma shariram and the collective the sukshma shariram of all the beings is compared to the skandha skandha is a trunk the trunk of the this ashvatha this vriksha the samsara vriksha then how does it grow how does the vriksha needs water what is the water for this vriksha the next line vashakara says trishna jala trishna jala jala avaseka avaseka udbhuta dharpaha udbhuta dharpaha trishna jala jala is the trish jala <coughs> Trishna Jala. Trishna is the, the longing, the desires. Asha. The, another word for Kama. And the Trishna are many varieties of desires are there. They are, they are compared to the Jala. Jala is the, Jala is required for the Vriksha to grow. So, that desires are compared to the Jala, the water. Therefore, Trishna Jala, Trishna Jala Aseka Udbhuta Dharpaha. Because Aseka is, it is sprink, sprinkling. It is from this, the word is from this Sich Dhatu only. It is a present the word. Sich Dhatu, Sinchati. So sprinkled by the waters of desires, this Riksha has become Udbhuta Dharpaha. It has become huge. Dharpa means bright. And what is pride means? Here, not literally pride. Pride means you you show as though yourself as something big, great. Here, viksha becomes big. Viksha, the vastness of the tree is because of the, the sprinkling of the waters of desires of various beings. Dharma, 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 artha, kama, iti. Even though we classify the human goals as into four dharma artha kama moksha dharma and within dharma within kama within artha there are many many are there varieties are there ultimately there is a wanting dharma or kama or this artha moksha is later but all the desires it can be categorized into any one of this therefore these that the waters are waters are given by the dharmaarthi kamaarthi mokshaarthi the pranis the water for the viksha to grow is provided by the pranis who are dharmaarthi kamaarthi artaarthi so the desires of these people they they are they are like the the water which which are sprinkled which are sprinkled for and in this viksha viksha to grow then the next line buddhindriya 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 vishaya buddhindriya vishaya pravala pravala ankurah pravala ankurah ankurah is throat pravala ankurah is it is a the offshoots that is the branches pravala ankura is branches the branches this ashvatha vriksha this samsara vriksha which is compared to ashvatha having so many branches and the branches are compared to the buddhi indriya that is jnana indriya buddhi indriya or the jnana indriya the jnana indriya means the the, the organs of 
perception. What would I perceive? Shabda sparsha rupa rasa ganda. So, buddhi indriya vishaya. The vishaya of the buddhi indriya, that is shabda sparsha rupa rasa ganda, they are the pravala ankuraha. So, not the buddhi indriya, buddhi indriya vishaya. Buddhi indriya, that is jnana indriya are there. For which the vishayas are shabda sparsha rupa rasa ganda. The world consisting of only these five, and we are provided with the five indriyas for having transaction. With the five indriyas, we operate in the world, and the world also has got these five properties, objects of the world, Shabdas, Parasharu, Parasakanda. Therefore, there is an interaction. And this Vishaya, that is Shabdas, Parasharu, Parasakanda, they are compared to the Pravala and Kuraha, that is the offshoots. Because they are there, therefore the transaction, therefore the karma, therefore the karma pala. Karma pala is the fruits, the fruits uh, and uh, the leaves, etc., all they are going to come. Then the next line Shruti Smriti Nyaya Vidyo Padesha Palashaha. Palasha. Palasha is means the leaves. There is a tree also, Palasha Vriksha. Palasha Vriksha is a Palasha Vriksha or this bam, Mata Vriksha. These their tricks are used for doing Homa. So, but here the Palasha means the leaves. What are the leaves of this? This Samsara Vriksha, Shruti, Smriti, Nyaya. Vidya Upadesha. Shruti is the Veda. Shruti is the Veda. Smriti is all the Smaryate iti Smriti. So if Shruti is primary, then Smriti is secondary. Secondary Shastrams. So Shruti, Shruti Smriti and Nyaya. Nyaya here it is. It is uh, not the Nyaya Darshanam, it is the logic, the Mimamsa, etc. All these are the Nyaya. So, it only mentions, Asharya only mentions Shruti Smriti Nyaya, by which we can bring all the other bodies of knowledge. Vidya Upadesha. Vidya Upadesha is Vidya Stana, that is the bodies of knowledge. That which gives, that which teaches knowledge. So, the knowledge which are given by Shruti, Smriti and Nyaya. What are they? Chatur Vedaha, four Vedas and Vedangas are there. Vedangani, Shatu, six Vedangas. You know, we have seen in Mundaka, six Vedanga, Shiksha, Kalpa, Vyakranam, Niruktam, Chandas and Jyotisham, Iti, six Vedangas. So, Four Vedas, six Vedangas, then Mimamsa, Nyaya, Dharma, Shastra, and Purana, plus four. The Fourteen are called Vidyasthana. And there are Upavedas also, Dharur Veda, Ayur Veda, Gandharva Veda. Iti, then one more is there, Upaveda, Dharur Veda, Ayur Veda, Gandharva Veda. One more is there. So there are 18. So totally there are 18 Vidyasthana, 18 bodies of knowledge. So this 18 bodies of knowledge are called this 18 Atta Shastra. Okay. Atta Shastra. One more is there. Atta Shastra. Atta Shastra is this, uh, this economy, dealing with economy that Upaveda, one of the Upaveda. Ayurveda, Dhanurveda, Gandharaveda, Atta Shastra. All these are called Vidyasthana, Vidyasthana ni, by which only the knowledge is gained. The primary Shastra is Shruti. So these are called Vidyasthana. And these are compared to the Palasha, the leaves, the Parnani, the Parnani of the, the trees. All these are Aparavidya only. 
அதிகம்யத்தே தட் பை விச் தட் இஸ் பை தி வேத பை விச் தி பரபிரம் இஸ் அந்த தட் வித்யா இஸ் கால்ட் பராவித்யாத்தே தட் அபராவித்யா ஆல் தீஸ் ஆர் அபராவித்யா ஸோ ஆல் தி வித்யாஸ் ஆர் டீலிங் வித் தர்மார்த்த காம மோக்ஷ நாட் மோக்ஷ தர்மார்த்த காம புருஷார்த்தம் வந்து பர் மோக்ஷ தட் த்ரூ தி வேதா தட்டு தட்டு வேதாந்த உத்தர மீமாம்சா பை விச் பர பிரம்ம இஸ் அண்டர்ஸ்டுட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் இஸ் கெய்னிங் தட் இஸ் கால்ட் பராவித்யா ஸோ இயர் சின்ஸ் வி ஆர் டாக்கிங் அபவுட் சம்சார ருக்ஷா அண்ட் இட் ஹேஸ் காட் த லீவ்ஸ் த பலாஷா தேர் ஃபோர் இயர் when we say shruti also is one of the vidya sthana the vidya upadesha it means it is as apara vidya not para vidya as apara vidya it is one of the vidya upadesha para vidya when we say even upanishad is also even the upanishad also is apara vidya only the meaning of the words the understanding of the meaning of the words is called paravidya as words it's only aparavidya so therefore all the 18 vidya sthanas they are aparavidya because they are committed to they are committed to help the jeevas by offering them this dharma artha kama purushata and jeevas are also interested they are also interested in this and this vidya sthana the bodies of knowledge also meant for that purpose and they are compared to palasha palasha is the leaves in gita also we have seen that krishna bhagavan krishna says chandamsi chandamsi yasya parnani yastam iti chandamsi yasya parnani yasya samsar vrikshasya parnani chandamsi chandamsi is vedamsi veda means again that we have to bring all the vidya sthanani all the 18 vidya sthana they are compared to the leaves apra vidya apra vidyas are many that is why the leaves of a tree are not countable they are, they are innumerable therefore apra vidyas are many apra vidya is only one paravidya being many paravidya is only one by which only moksha is gain and the leaves of the vriksha are many therefore they are compared to aparavidya solve the imagination of the bashikara the next line yagnya dana tapa tapa adi yagnya dana tapa adi ane அநேக கிரியாசு புஷ்பாக flowers what karma flower is fragrant and it looks beautiful therefore good karmas are pointed out yagna yagna is either it is the panchamaha yagna or it is it is just a yagna then dana dana is reaching out action tapa tapa is tapas penance austerities all this adi adi padar we can bring in various other good actions they are compared to supushpaha why supushpaha there is no pushpa is pushpa is napumsakalinga there is no pushpaha the word pushpaha is pullinga word but pushpa cannot be a pullinga pushpam pushpe pushmani vandi napumsakalinga vandi how can it be a how can it be a supushpaha supushpani but here it is qualifies samsara vrikshaha vrikshaha is pullinga therefore vriksha is qualified by all these words these are the description of the samsara vriksha vriksha is pullinga 
ರೆಫರ್ ಸುಪುಷ್ಪ ಇಟ್ ಬಗುಬ್ರಿಗಿ ಸಮಾಸ ಇನ್ ಬಗುಬ್ರಿಗಿ ಸಮಾಸ ದ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದಿ ವಿಶೇಷನ ಇಸ್ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿ ವಿಶೇಷ ದಿ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಯರ್ ದಿ ಅಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಪುಲ್ಲಿಂಗ ಇನ್ ಕೀಪಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಜೆಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವಿಶೇಷನ ಸೊ ಯಜ್ಞದಾನ ತತ್ವ ಆದಿ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಪುಷ್ಪಾನಿ ಇವ ಪುಷ್ಪಾನಿ ಎಸ್ಯ ವೃಕ್ಷಸ ಸಂಸಾರ ವೃಕ್ಷಸ ದರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಯಜ್ಞದಾನ ತಪ ಆದಿ ಅನೇಕ ಕ್ರಿಯಾ ಸುಪುಷ್ಪ ಇತಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ವೇದನಾ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ವೇದನಾ ಅನೇಕ ರಸ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಉಪಜೀವ್ಯ ಅನಂತ ಫಲ ಸುಖ ದುಃಖ ವೇದನ ವೇದನಾ ಅನೇಕ ರಸ ಪ್ರಾಣಿ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ಪ್ರಾಣ್ಯುಪಜೀವ್ಯ ಅನಂತ ಫಲ ಇಸ್ So, here also, phala is nakum sakalinga, phalam phale phala ni, but phala ha is there, it qualifies riksha, riksha is pullinga, therefore phala ha. So, the samsara riksha, flowers are there, from flowers what will come? Fruit will, fruits will come, and the fruits are, fruits will be, having taste so therefore the karma will have karma phala the various results of karma the karma the karma phala and there are many pranis many jeevas they do various karma and therefore various karma phala will be there and the samsara vriksha has got many fruits and one of the few karmas are mentioned in yajyadana tapa iti so and this karma could be a good karma or bad or otherwise karma papa karma therefore the result could be sukham or dukham therefore sukha dukha vedana aneka rasaha rasaha is the taste the taste is the experience it's a experience so the the results of the experience of karma phala which is in the form of dukkha dukkha that experience like pleasure and pain the experience like pleasure and pain that of the karma phala karma done by the the jeevas so therefore this prani this prani has done various karma and therefore karma phala and the karma phala in the form of the experience that is compared to the taste of the fruit and in the and the experience in the form of sukha or dukkha anubhava sukha dukkha anubhava and this karma this karma phala is prani upajivya upajivyate iti upajivya that which is dependent on is called upajivya that is upajivya the word is from the jeev dhatu that which is dependent on that which has got dependency that which is dependent on is called upajivya upajivya is that which is dependent so the word upajivya and upajivya there to upajivya and upajivyate iti upajivya that which is dependent on dependent on upajivi and upajivya upajivya is that upon which the person is dependent upajivi is that person the dependent person so two things are that upajivi upajivya upajivi referring to the person who is dependent upajivya is that upon which the person is dependent 
So prani upajivya means this various the various the results of actions are that upon which this upajivi the, the jivas the beings are dependent. Therefore, Bashekara says prani upajivya antapalaha. This upajivi the praninaha. They are dependent on the, the pala, and the palas are how many? Ananta palaha, because many jivas are there and various karmas are they do. Therefore, ananta palaha, many fruits are there. Fruits is karma pala, and here pala is referring to the, the literally the fruit, it can be referring to the fruit of the tree or the karma pala of. The karma done by the, the prani upon which the upajivi, the prani is dependent. They enjoy the karma pala and the enjoyment is given, is mentioned as the rasa, the taste. The taste in the form of vedana, the experience in the form of sukha dukkha anubhava. Sukha dukkha anubhava, pleasure and pain. So, the results of the karma of the prani in the form of various fruits, the, the form of various innumerable fruits, ananta palaha, and the experience in the in the form of pleasure and pain, and they are compared to the taste of the fruits. The karma pala of the beings or the fruits which are innumerable. And the taste of the fruits, the taste of the fruits are in the form of Sukha, Dukkha, Vedana. Vedana is Anubhava, Sukha, Dukkha, Vedana. So on the Karmapala, only this Prani is dependent. They do Karmapala, they do Karma for what? To enjoy Karmapala. So Karmapala is Upajivi, Upajivya. Karmapala is upon which the the upajivi, the prani is dependent. So karma, karma is done for what purpose? Karma is done to enjoy the karma pala. So the therefore karma palas are upajivya, upon which the pranis depend on. Who depends on? The pranis. The pranis are called upajivi. So upajivi, upajivya. You can understand. Upajivi, not here. I'm just supplying the word Upajivi to make you understand. Upajivi is the person, the karta, the, the pranis. They do karma and upon the karma pala, they have dependency. And the karma pala are called Upajivya. Therefore, Upajivya Ananta Palaha. Palaha is karma palani. And the karma pala in the form of Sukha Dukkha Vedana Anubhava Iti. Understand? Yes, Jiya. Continue. Yes. Tat Tat Trishna. Tat Tat Trishna. Tat Tat Trishna Salila. Tat Tat Trishna Salila. Avaseka. Avaseka. Prarudha. Prarudha. Do you know where we are? Yes, yeah. Yes, Here it is. Jatili Krita Drida Badha Mulaha. Jati Krita Drida Badha Mulaha. So Tatta Trishna Salida. Again, the Trishna, the desires. Which are compared to the water. So, Tatta Trishna Salila Avaseka, because of the sprinkling of the waters of desires, now what happens? Praruda Jatili Krita Drida Badda Mulaha. Here, Mulaha, Mulaha means roots. Already roots talked about. Then, what is this Mula? This we can take it as the the secondary, the roots of the vriksha. The secondary roots. 
what are the secondary roots if you see the ashwatthama vriksha it has two roots one is the main root which are which is below the ground other roots is from the branch from the branch you will see the the from the from branch of the tree there is a a connection to the ground and that gets into the ground and that becomes a root and that becomes a root from that another vriksha comes that is how the the banyan tree it's multiplied it occupies a huge area there is a there is a offshoot from the branch of a tree which touches the ground gets into the ground and that becomes a root for a tree another vriksha that is not a separate vriksha it's a part of this so it gets multiplied in that way the banyan tree can occupy a huge area in calcutta i think one is there a huge one so that is the secondary root so the secondary root is also is watered by the desires sprinkled by the waters of desire trishna sarila avaseka mulaha and the mulaha is this correct prarudha it is root prarudha is from the rukh dhatu you know rukh to grow prarudha means well grown well developed developed by what tat trishna jala trishna salila avaseka sprinkled by the desires of sprinkled by the waters of desires so prarudha jatili krita drida baddha moolaha jatili krita jatili is it is intertwined it is tightly intertwined jatili krita and drida baddha moolaha it is strong drida is strong baddha is it is it is entwined baddha it is it is fixed strongly so these secondary roots avantara moola this avantara moola the secondary roots are also so this vriksha having the secondary roots which are also watered by the the desires this which are watered by which are watered by this trishna the which are watered by this the desires of this prani so the desires of the prani are compared to the water by which the secondary roots of this vriksha is very firmly thickly developed that here the moolaha is avantara moolaha secondary root then the next line satya namadhi satya namadhi satya namadhi satya loka ृक्षा ಸತ್ಯನಾಮಾದಿ ಸಪ್ತಲೋಕ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದಿ ಭೂತ ಪಕ್ಷಿಕೃತ ನೀಡ ಸತ್ಯನಾಮಾದಿ ದಟ್ ಸಪ್ತಲೋಕ ಸತ್ಯ ನಾಮಾದಿ ಸತ್ಯ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದಟ್ ಸಪ್ತಲೋಕ ಸತ್ಯಲೋಕ ಸವನ್ ಸವನ್ ಲೋಕ ಸತ್ಯನಾಮಾದಿ ಸೊ ಸತ್ಯ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ದಿಸ್ ಸವನ್ ಲೋಕ ಸವನ್ ಅಯರ್ ಲೋಕ they are compared to starting from satya loka all the seven higher lokas they are the need are they are the nest for whom for the bhuta pakshi brahmadi bhuta pakshi krita nidaha that is this nida which is created by the birds the birds are and the birds are compared to the beings like what ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾದಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸಚಿದಾನ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಜಿ ಇಯರ್ ದಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಯರ್ 
ब्रह्मा जी क्रिएटर ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा जी दट दिस प्रजापति दट इज ऑल्सो लाइक अहमदर्मा पद वी इट्स डेजिग्नेशन सो इट इज क्रिएटेड बाय द बीइंग्स लाइक ब्रह्मा एक्सेट्रा ब्रह्मा जी नॉट ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा जी एक्सेट्रा सो इन फैक्ट ब्रह्मा जी वाज द फर्स्ट वन वाज क्री उ वाज उ उ के ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा देवान प्रथम स्तंभ भूव एंड ही वाज द फर्स्ट वन टू क्रिएट दिस द नेस्ट द संसार वृक्षा वी गॉट मेनी नेस्ट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सेवन लोकास made by various living beings like brahma brahma ji etc brahma ji also is one being he created the nest because he created brahma ji brahma ji is is in satya loka that loka is created loka is created in which the brahma ji resides so he is the first one who have created the nest and the nest is satya loka nest there are other lokas are there other beings create the nest and they stay inside and the nest are in this Ash ashwatha vriksha so this ashwatha vriksha samsara vriksha has got many nest the first nest is created by the brahma ji in the nest called satya loka there are various other nest are there built by various living beings and the lokas are compared to the nest that is that is important lokas are compared to the nest the various lokas satyanamadi lokas okay then continuing prani 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 sukha dukha udbhuta sukha dukha udbhuta udbhuta harsha shoka jata नृत्य गीत वादित्र नृत्य गीत वादित्रेलिता आकृष्ट रीडिंग टुगेदर हसित आकृष्ट हसित आकृष्ट रुदित 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 आहा मुंच मुंच इति हा हा मुंच मुंच इति इति अनेक शब्द कृत अनेक शब्द कृत तुमुली भूत महारव बर्ड्स <laughs> they make lot of noise they make lot of noise that is a maharava maharava so the vriksha produces huge noise maharava not the vriksha produces the beings which live in this vriksha having created nest and making it as a dwelling place and they live there they create various huge noise तुमुली भूत महारव 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 यस्मिन सो दिस दट महारव इज क्वालिफाइड इट्स इट इज इट इज डिस्क्राइब द महारव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द वेरियस दिस महारव द नॉइस द फॉर्म ऑफ सुख दुख उद्भूत produced by the experience sukha dukkha which is born of this sukha dukkha udbhuta born of the sukha anubhava or dukkha anubhava of the pranis prani naam sukha dukkha udbhuta and the experience in the form of harsha harsha is happiness harsha shoka saro 
So happy that there is a noise, yeah, a cheerful noise. And there is a, yeah, is a, a sad note. A noise which is very sad. Therefore, shoka, verities of noises. So, harsha, shoka, jata, then nritya, harsha, shoka, jata, this, the noise, harsha, because of sukha anubhava. Shoka, shoka, rava is because of dukkha anubhava. So, born of this sukha, dukkha, it's anubhava, the, the, the maharava, this Arsha, Shoka, Jata, Arsha, Happiness, Shoka, Saru. Arsha, shoka is Saru. That, that Rava, the noises, the noises which are cheerful and sad noises which are born of Sukha, Dukkha, Anubhava, which are expressed in the form of, which are expressed in the form of various actions. Like what? Like Dhrityam. If you are happy, you will dance. So, Dhrityam, Dhritya, Gita, singing, singing, then Vaditra. Vaditra is playing musical instruments, Vaditra. Then Kshvelitam, Kshvelitam is, it is shouting. Kshvelitam is shouting, jumping, jumping and shouting in loud voice, Kshvelita. Aspotita, Aspotita is Clapping the hands. Dancing, while dancing, you clap your hands when you are cheerful. So, clapping the dance. Hasita, laughing. When do you laugh? When you are, when you are happy. When you are sukha, anubhava, you enjoy, you laugh. Then, when you are pain, what you will do? You scream. Akrushta, rudita, crying. All these are varieties of the expressions of the Sukha Dukkha Anubhava. Then Ha Ha Muncha Muncha Iti. Ha Ha Muncha, that is shouting, shouting, leave me, leave me, enough, enough. That is tortured by the pains, the troubles of samsara. The pranis, they cry, leave me, leave me, Muncha Muncha Iti, Iti. Pashakara presents varied varieties of noise. One, one, one side it is the noise is cheerful. Other one is a sad noise. So all the noises and their expressions and various expressions, Bashikara presence. Iti aneka shabda, aneka shabda krita by the varieties of noise by the various noises. Krita, they did what they did. Tumuli, tumuli bhuta maharavaha. Tumuli is this intense, this intense noise. Produced the intense noises are produced by the various actions expressed by the pranis because of the sukha dukkha anubhava, and the noises are are com compared to the noises of the birds. And the birds are compared to the the pranis, and the pranis they live in the the, the, uh, the they live in the nest. They compared to the lokas. So all these are. Beautiful imagination. So, the noise, very varieties of noises created. Then, the next line. Vedanta Vigita. Vedanta Vigita. Brahmatma Darshana. Brahmatma Darshana. Asanga Shastra Krita Uchedaha. Asanga Shastra Krita Uchedaha Vedanta Vigita Brahmatma Uche Brahmatma Darshana Asanga Krita Asanga Shastra Krita Uchedaha That is this samsara tree called Ashwatta. It can be Uchedaha, it can be cut, it can be felled. How? By a weapon. What is a weapon? Asanga Shastra Krita, Asanga Shastra, Nadhudena Chitva. Gita Bhagavan Krishna says, Asanga Shastra, 15th chapter. Asanga Shastra. The Shastra, which is Asanga. Asanga means, Asanga stands for Vairagya. Asanga Shastra. That is detachment. So, 
Vairagya. That Vairagya is because of this Brahmatma Darshana. Brahmatma Darshana. Here Brahma is Agam Brahma, Sachit Ananda, the Brahma, Jiveshwara, that Aikam Brahma, that Brahma. That Brahma Darshanam, that is the vision of this Brahma, that is only by Vedanta Vigita, taught by Vedanta. Only Vedanta in a Pratiparita. This Brahma, that is the truth, the Tattvam, which is Pratiparitam, Vedanta Vigitam, Vedanta na Vedanta hi Vigitam, this Brahma, that Brahmat Padarshanena, this Asanga Shastra, Asanga Shastrena Kritaha, Kim Kritaha, Uchedaha Kritaha, the Samsara Daksha is cut by the Asanga, which is Asanga is central Vairagya. Vairagyam, that objectivity, which is because of the vision of the Brahma, and that is imparted by the Vedanta Shastram, that is Upanishad. So, therefore, by the knowledge of by the knowledge of Tattvam Brahma, this samsara vriksha can be cut. Cut means not literally cut, that is, you can be free. You can gain moksha, you can be free. That is called krita uchedaha, uprooted. The samsara vriksha is can be uprooted. That is, ajnanam can be completely uprooted. How? In the wake of jnanam. What jnanam? Brahma jnanam. And that is taught by Vedanta Shastram. Okay. So, Yeshaha samsara vikshaha Yeshaha samsara vikshaha Ashvattaha Ashvattaha Ashvattavat Ashvattavat Kama karma vaterita Kama karma vaterita Nitya prachalita subhavaha Nitya prachalita subhavaha Yes. This samsara, Yeshaha samsara vikshaha This samsara vriksha, Yeshaha samsara vikshaha the samsara vriksha, which is called Ashvatha, Ashvatha vriksha, na shvaha tishtati iti ashvaha, the word Ashvattaha, that which doesn't stay tomorrow, that's called Ashvattaha, it is unstable, it is impermanent. Drishta nashta subhavaha, this samsara vriksha, and that Bhashikara says Ashvattavat, this, this Ashvatha vriksha, this Ashvattaha, this Samsara Vikshaha is called Ashvattaha. Ashvattavat, like Ashvatta, like, like Ashvatta Viksha, Kama Karma Vaterita Nitya Pratarita Svabhavaha. It is shaken. Prachalita Svabhavaha. It is, it is shaken by the Vata. Vata is the wind. Wind of what? Kama Karma. This desire, Kama is desire, Karma is the action. So, kama karma are the vata. By that, irita, by that, shaken. Therefore, nitya pracharitaha, it is, it is of always unsteady nature. The samsara, vriksha is not steady because it is shaken by the kama, the desires, and uh, by the action, the karma. Therefore, nitya pracharita subhavaha. That Subhava, the nature of the Briksha is always prachalita. It is, it is shaky, it is shaken. By what? Shaken. Irita, irita is shaken. Shaken by what? By the vata, by the wind. Wind of what? Wind of karma and kama. Kama and karma. Kama, karma are compared to the wind. By the wind, this samsara Briksha is prachalitam. It is shaken. And that is the Subhava of this Ashvatta Briksha. The samsara vriksha is ashvatta, ashvatta, like ashvatta tree, the samsara vriksha is easily shaken by the strong wind of karma and kama. That is the, the meaning. Let us complete this paragraph. Next line. Swarga naraka tiryat preta dibhi. 
स्वर्ग नरग तिर्य शाखा अवाक शाखा ब्रांचेस the form of swarga loka naraka loka tirya tirya loka is animal world pakshu loka pakshu loka and preta adi preta means the world of the loka of preta preta is the beings which are not in the physical form which are not in the they are in the sukshma sharira that is the the pranis the jivas which have left the body that's called preta sharira they occupy they get a new sharira called preta sharira so therefore this samsara vriksha which has got this avakshataha the branch the downward branches and uh, like what like this swarga naraka pashuloka the pratyaloka etc these are compared to the avakshataha chaka meaning branches avak means down so therefore all these are the branches down are compared the branches down and uh, the, the the tree has got the branches downward avakshataha and uh, the branches in the form of this various lokas swarga loka naraka loka tirya loka preta loka etc then the next line sanatanaha sanatanaha anadivat anadivat chira pravrtaha विच इज देर फॉर अ long time continuing for a long time sanatana why because it is anadi but it doesn't have a beginning it doesn't have a beginning therefore it is chiram pravrtaha the samsara viksha continues for a long time and doesn't have a beginning how, how can you say this is beginningless this this samsara viksha how can it can be begin because the samsara viksha is it is this samsara is a cycle therefore when it is a cycle where is the beginning where is the end the, the, the end is only by gnana but beginning you cannot find it similarly the in the in the vriksha itself ashvatha vriksha itself when the ashvatha tree becomes very old the the, the main root it's very difficult to find which is the main root because the offshoots they look like a main main branch main main branch the offshoots and they look like a the main roots so it's very difficult to see which is the the root where is the beginning of the vriksha similarly here also for samsara vriksha for samsara samsara being a cycle the cycle which is the adi which is the anta so therefore it has no beginning therefore anadi mat adi gi na vidyate yasya anadi doesn't have a beginning and it is there for a long time sanatana sanatana means continuing for a long time when did samsara when this started we cannot ask it is there since long time doesn't have a, a particular time fix a time to say this is this is when it began we cannot say and because it is a cycle therefore it doesn't have a beginning therefore anadi anaditva sanatan why it is sanatan bashatara says anaditva the hetu is given anaditva because it doesn't have a beginning therefore it continues for a long time chirap pravrtaha it is pravrtaha chirap pravrtaha it is continues chiraha chiraha is long chiranjeevi and all we say chiraha chirap pravrtaha being there for a long time sanat sanatanaha the word is there in the mula 
the, the mantra, the word sanatanaha is there. The meaning of the word sanatanaha is chirapravrutaha. Why it is chirapravrutaha? Because it is anadi matva, because it doesn't have a beginning, doesn't have a beginning, beginninglessly, it, can, it is there. Therefore, it is there for a long time. That is the meaning of the word sanataha. Yeshaha, ashpataha, sanatanaha, chirapravrutaha. Sanatanaha is equal to chirapravrutaha. Kiti. So we'll stop here. We'll continue. We'll continue the, the next paragraph, the last paragraph of this mantra, the next class. Om Pur Namadav Pur Nabidam Pur Nar Pur Namadachate Pur Nasyapur Namadayapur Nameva Vashishate Om Shantashantashantihi Harihi Om Shri Prabhu Namaha Harihi Om Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.